Hey, hold that side of the table. Hey, hey, watch out for the spilled soup. <laughs> A few minutes ago, I was bullied as usual by my mean mother-in-law. And now she's standing there with a pale face. What in the world is going on in front of my eyes? My name is Natalie, 31 year old, and I am office worker. I met my husband Dylan at my company where I work. My husband was my supervisor, and at first I felt that he was a very strict senior employee. But as we worked together, I soon realized that he was a very straightforward person about his work. I respected him, but I became interested in him romantically. One day, I confessed my feelings to him. I was prepared to have myself crushed, but he said he liked me too. The moment Dylan gave his answer, I fell off my knees and cried. After several years of dating, he proposed to me on Christmas Day. I would like to say everything is going well, but in my newly married and happy mood, I was soon destroyed by my mother-in-law. My husband has a sister named Brooke, and I liked her from the beginning. Until we got married, he lived with his parents all his life. Until he moved in with me. He could hardly do any housework. My mother-in-law seems to be a very protective person. If my husband or sister-in-law tried to do anything, she would say, "Sit down and let me take care of it." She would take any tasks from away from them. After we moved in together, I trained my husband to do all the housework. And he quickly showed his high specs in housework. On weekends, he sometimes cooks meal for me. It's quite delicious. How many times have I thought to myself, how jealous? My husband started to get into cooking, and recently got into making Indian curry from scratch. To be honest, I was a bit taken aback. I've made too much curry. I'm going to share it with my parents. He left with a smile on his face, but came back a few hours later with a troubled look on his face. Natalie, what do you think of my mother? He looked at me with a serious face. I looked away and answered with a forced smile, but I guess my face said it all. <sighs> He sighed. I thought so. Well, actually, when he arrived at his parents' house, his mother-in-law seemed happy to see him. That his mother-in-law immediately started humming and preparing tea. But when my husband told her he was leaving the curry and going home soon, she got quite grumpy. I wonder if that person making fun of me. For making me homemade curry, and to make Dylan bring it here when he's tired from work, that girl has got a lot of nerve. By the way, that girl means me. I don't know why, but my mother-in-law stubbornly refuses to call me by my name. She calls me that girl, you, hey, and so on. It annoys me every time, but I try not to show it to my face. And when she found out I made the curry, she got in a good mood and started praising me. Well, that was disgusting. According to my husband, while patting his head, she said, "You did great, honey." And the mother-in-law spoke to him as if she were worried about a small child, saying he wasn't hurt. My husband felt sick with that and left quickly. I've always wondered, but is my mother overprotective? Brooke's the same age as Natalie, but I wonder if she can do any housework. That's not good for her, right? I love you. I love you, Dylan. 
But isn't it a little too late to realize it now? I almost couldn't contain my laughter. But seriously, from the first time I met my mother in law, I knew she didn't like me. Or rather, I knew she hated me. At first, she smiled at me, but the moment I said my name, she suddenly became very curt. I was even a little excited, thinking to myself, Whoa, there is such a person. Since my mother in law loved her family of four, the thought of her son's wife destroying the family dynamics was more than a little frustrating. She's full of love for her family, but sadly, my husband's sister is also annoyed with her mother. I feel a little sympathy for my mother in law. Brooke, my sister in law, has a cheerful personality. Mom, I don't know what you're upset about, but Dylan and I are already adults. Of course, we are going to marry someone or two. Give it up already. Hold on, sweet Brooke. There's only one person you can marry. It didn't bother me that my mother in law gave me the cold shoulder because Brooke always made me laugh somehow. It was the same with my father in law. I'm sorry, Natalie. My wife can't let go of her children forever. Thank you for choosing Dylan. Come on, honey. You can't be upset forever. My father in law patted my mother in law on the shoulder and she sniffed. Whenever I visit my parents in law's house, she's always sulking like this. Come on, what are you, the Grinch? I was again trying not to crack up with Brooke's comment. My husband had never seen his mother like this before. He thought my mother in law and I were simply compatible. I don't think it was too bad. When I introduced my girlfriend to her in high school, I was somewhat annoyed that my husband was talking about his ex girlfriend out of nowhere. But it all came crashing down after one incident. It was a year after we got married. My relationship with my mother in law remained the same, and I got pregnant. My husband was very happy. And although we were not yet in a stable period, we went to my parents in law's house together to report the news. I'm so happy for you. Take care of yourself, Natalie. Yes, I'm an auntie now. Natalie, if you need anything, you let me know, okay? My father in law and sister in law were concerned about my body during my pregnancy. I was very grateful to hear their kind words. However, my mother in law stared at my belly and said something outrageous. I wonder if this baby is really Dylan's? I froze at that unbelievable words. Of course, it was my husband's child. My mother in law had always been cold to me. And it sometimes ignored me. But I got by. From the beginning, all my family members expect my mother in law have been kind to me. But now, I don't know what to do anymore. What is this person? I'm done. To begin with, I've had a little mental breakdown because of the pregnancy. So I unexpectedly burst into tears. My mother in law saw me like that and said, Oh my gosh, you act like that I made you cry. I guess I was right about the baby. Because you didn't say anything. Is she nuts? What is this she talking about? Mom, are you serious? Of course it's my child. How can you say such a terrible thing? Why are you so cold to Natalie? You're sick. Raging husband made my mother in law cringe. Yeah, Dylan's right. You're sick, mom. Brooke, my sister in law, looks at my mother in law as if she were looking at a piece of filth. 
My father-in-law is also quietly staring at my mother-in-law. It seemed like she didn't expect them to be so antagonistic. Hey, you guys! I was just kidding, you know? Right, Natalie? Tell them I was just kidding! It was the first time she called me a name. And at the worst possible moment. And I am the victim here. What am I supposed to say? You want me to say what's on my mind? That's easy. You are crazy. This is disgusting. Can't you tell the difference between what you are allowed to say and what you are not allowed to say? I've had enough. I'm never coming back here. And I ran out of the house just like that. My husband and I would often fight, but I always won. He says I'm pretty scary when I lose my temper. He says he doesn't think he can win because of the way I look at him. Sometimes he would get as small as a trembling chihuahua. He would come right after me and apologize for the whole ride home. I'm never going back to your parents' house again. I muttered quietly to myself and I stared at the scenery outside. Of course, I'm not going there either. I feel sorry for my dad, but I'm willing to cut it off. My husband chose me over his family, and that alone was reassuring. My mother-in-law's words made me angry, even as I remembered them. But I didn't want to think about it because it would hurt the baby. My husband is on board with that. So for now, all I think about is the baby. The next few months were as peaceful as if the incident had never happened. I told my parents about the pregnancy. They sent me pictures every day, saying that they bought this and that, even though the baby wasn't born yet. My mother-in-law frequently contacted my husband from that day onward. Every time he received a message, he reported it to me. I read the content of the message once, but I didn't think she was sorry for what she had done. I still don't understand why she hates me so much. Brooke often contacted me as well. Apparently, she hardly spoke to her mother since then. My father-in-law seems to be the same way and my mother-in-law seems to be living in a very tight corner. My, my dad and I have asked mom why she is so cold to you, but she refuses to talk about it. Natalie, you've never really met her, have you? Brooke asked me, but I was sure I had never met my mother-in-law before. I've never felt so much dislike from a person in my life. Thank you, Brooke. When the baby is born, please come to see. Sure, Brooke said happily. A few months later, I gave birth to a healthy baby girl. Her name is Lily, and I wanted her to grow up to be someone who makes everyone smile just by being around her. When I returned home, my parents, who had been very strict with me growing up, would hold Lily in their arms with an overexcited look on their faces. Is a grandchild really so special? I asked them. I have an older sister and she already had children before me. It's not even their first grandchild. But my parents love Lily so much that they fight over who gets to hold her. Of course! Look! Liddy has your eyes, Natalie. It looks like only yesterday when you and your sister were little. My mother holds Lily as, as if she misses those days. I wonder if my mother-in-law feels the same way. Of course, I had my reasons. A few days ago, my mother-in-law called me. At first, the phone rang, but I was in no mood to talk. After a few rings, I received a long message that expressed her deepest apologies and regrets. It was painful to think 
that my son had been taken from me. Raising Dylan had been all I had ever known. She said stuff like that. Both my husband and Brooke are adults now. But I felt that to parents, children will always be children. Now that I am a parent myself, I think I understand my mother in those feelings a little better. Still, I can say such heartless words to the person my daughter chooses in the future. But my mother in law seems to be deeply sorry. So I wonder if I can forgive her now. When I talked to my husband about it, he said, Are you sure? Isn't that too much for you? It's okay if you don't want to see her. She's a bitch. Just seeing the look on my husband's face, who was deeply concerned about me, gave me peace of mind. I was beginning to get used to this new life with Lily. I decided to visit my parents in Lowe's house. It was the first time since the day of the pregnancy announcement. I was nervous, as well as my husband, to visit my parents in Lowe's house for the first time in a few months. When I entered my in Lowe's house, three of them were waiting for us. Lily, it's been a while! Haven't you grown up a little? My father in law and sister in law had come to visit me while I was in the hospital. It wasn't the first time they would see Lily. They looked excited when they saw Lily, who had grown up a little. The person in question was standing behind them. She's Lily. She looks like Dylan, does she? Everyone there was relieved when the mother in law spoke up. Hey, can't you help me prepare a meal? To my surprise, my mother in law asked me. This made me a little happy. My mother in law was trying her best to get along with me in her own way. That's what I thought. What? I'll help you, mom. Natalie, don't bother. Just relax. Brooke was concerned about me and my postpartum body. I'll be fine, Brooke. Thank you. Mother, I'll help you. I replied with a big smile. When I entered the kitchen, the food was already there. I only needed to serve the food. I'll take this to the living room. As I was serving the food, I noticed something strange. There was only enough dishes for four people, and there were five of us. I'm sorry, but I think we are missing one. I tried to find a missing piece, but I couldn't find it anywhere. My mother in law just looked at me quietly, and then she suddenly burst out laughing. There's nothing left! I haven't cooked for you since the beginning. She looked at me with a nasty look on her face and snickered. It seemed that my mother in law has no intention of getting along with me. I didn't think she would do something so stupid. We are a family of four. You are not family. And I hate your name anyway. That last part stuck with me, but I felt stupid even listening to her. You should eat this here. And with that, she threw me a box of instant pot mac and cheese. I couldn't stop laughing and said to her, You're really sick. I don't know what's wrong with you. But I hate you too. My mother in law's face scrunched up at my words. And she went into the dining room. Natalie, she's not feeling well. She's going to rest in the kitchen for a while. She doesn't seem to have much of an appetite. <laughs> what a lie. I'll tell my husband about it later. Well, it seems like I have just wasted my time today. I sat in a chair and stared at the ceiling in a daze. Hey, 
Hey, hey! I heard my mother in law's impatient voice. Hey, hold that side of the table. Hey, hey! Watch out for spilled soup! <laughs> Footsteps came towards me. Natalie, you okay? Did she do something to you again? Natalie, we're going to eat here with you. Mom, you can eat alone over there. My husband and sister in law glared at my mother in law coldly as they approached me. Hey, hey, let me in too. <laughs> It's really tight in here. My father in law said with a laugh. I picked up Lily in my husband's arms. I was so happy that I cried. Hey guys, look! My dinner is this mac and cheese. I laughed and put the box of mac and cheese in the kitchen table. Seeing this, they looked at my mother in law with shocked looks on their faces. Really? What do you want? You should be ashamed of yourself. I don't want this kind of wife. My father in law yelled at my mother in law. Why do you all choose her instead of me? My mother in law's face, which had been pale, now turned in a flash and she started to cry like a child. Frankly, we were all a little taken aback like that. Lily had been sleeping, but she woke up at the sound of my mother in law's loud voice. In the chaos of this room, my mother in law stared at me while crying. It's your fault! Your name! It's your name! What the. I didn't understand a word she was saying. I glanced at my husband, but he looked the same. His eyes were saying, What the heck is she talking about, too? My father in law was different. No way. I told you over and over again that it was not. He looked at my mother in law with a look of disgust on his face. You loved her, didn't you? What in the world am I being shown? I could only watch the fight between my mother in law and father in law. With a blank expression on my face. My mother in law was crying so hard that I glanced at my father in law. After a sigh of relief, with an embarrassed look on his face, my father in law began to speak quietly. Well, you know. According to my father in law's story, his mother, in other words, her mother in law, was very strict with my mother in law. Her name was Natalie. So, in other words, my mother in law put me in the category of people she didn't like just because of my name. Huh, <laughs> screw you. At this point, I was already about to lose my temper. Yeah, and then there's that. Awkwardly, my father in law continues the story. Apparently, My father in law and mother in law were classmates in college. And there was this girl who was fighting with my mother in law over my father in law at that time. They were pretty bickering. Even though it's been a few decades since they graduated, whenever they see each other at reunions, my mother in law still s e e m to be wary of that woman. Even though the woman is married to another man and has grandchildren. Apparently, her name is also Natalie. Staring at my mother in law screaming, and my father in law calms her down. I felt like an idiot and left the house. I never thought I'd have to listen to my parents' love story at my age. Natalie, I'm so sorry. I'm so embarrassed. My husband sat helplessly in the car on the way home. Yeah, right. It was something. I answered him, laughing. Later, 
I got a call from my father-in-law. My mother-in-law didn't listen to him very well. So he finally showed her divorce papers. Of course, my mother-in-law cried and begged him not to leave her. My sister-in-law, who was watching their quarrel, said to her, I think it's not good for you to stay at home all the time. Mom, you're still in your 50s. Why don't you go out and explore a bit? A local supermarket was looking for employees. My father-in-law seemed to agree with her words. And my mother-in-law started working. She seemed to be scolded very strongly by a veteran employee. She always says she wants to quit, but she's doing her best. She seems to have started to reflect on how she treated me. I started receiving messages from her occasionally. By the way, I'm ignoring all the messages from my mother-in-law for now. Of course, I don't intend to see her for a while. For some incomprehensible reason, I am not going to forgive her for the time being. My husband is appalled by her behavior and has recently began to seriously consider cutting her off. Am I a bad person? Lily, my daughter, is growing up without any serious illness. Her first birthday is coming up soon, and I am about to return to work. I know it's not easy to balance work and raising a family, but I know I can do this with my husband.